So this is a, uh, a, a new Samsung phone uh, okay, from, fire it up, fire it from up. Verizon. So you've got the video camera there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to uh, shoot yeah. some video of you. Oh, upside down. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. It's going to open up the uh, MMS messenger okay. from there. Uh-huh. Add contacts. Um, going to send it to all at vicar.com. Say done. And now it's going to send it off uh, to Vicar. So if I go here, uh, this is my blog. You can see uh, this is the Vicar player, and here you hey, are. Yeah. <laughs> it's Andy in San Francisco. All right. TV. Okay, here so there we go. Baby. All right, cool. I would say that took what, 15 seconds, right, something like that. Right. And that, that's really the power of mobile video. Uh, it's got to be instant. It's got to be quick. It's really about uh, showing people what you're doing out in the world while you're doing it. We're trying to introduce this idea of mobile video communication. So we really sort of look at these uh, devices, the, these mobile phones that are uh, equipped with a video camera, and we think, okay, well, why is there a camera in this in this mobile communications device? And we think it's more than just a gimmick. We think that just as the phone evolved from uh, audio only and then to text and audio, it's now going to evolve to a, a device that lets people communicate with video. Um, and the gating issue for that was one, obviously the introduction and the, the sort of mass adoption of phones that have video capabilities. But then two, what do you what do you do with these uh, these videos once you once, once you shoot them? So there's got to be a real immediate way to get the video off the phone and onto uh, a network into a network. Uh, where other people can view it that know you and are interested in what you have to say. Um, so what we've done is sort of removed all uh, all barriers to that. So using uh, the standard camera in the in the phone and using standard MMS uh, capabilities. MMS is an evolution of SMS, which is texting. Um, you simply shoot a video and send it via an MMS message and it hits Vicar.com and it's available for viewing by anybody you want to view it uh, you know, within 15 to 60 seconds. So, and just to listen in conclusion, there are issues about privacy and uploading this and, and I know you talked about how you organize it according to permissions, but it's almost like having your phone calls on a public place and how do you keep that private and, and that sort of thing? Sure. Um, it, we're extremely sensitive of privacy. So basically, um, there's no uh, concept of a, of a public view of one's profile on Veeker. Um, you essentially have a console and on your console you have your Veek feed and then you have all of your connections Veek feeds. So for your Veek feed to show up anywhere on Veeker, you've got to say to a specific person, yes, I agree to connect with you. Yes, you can see my Veek feed. Uh, same thing coming back the other way. So for me to see anybody's Veek feed, they've got to agree to it. So once I see a particular Veek, uh, Veek feed, um, or once um, I allow people to see my Veek feed, so say I have 10 connections and they all get to see my Veek feed, uh, within that I can determine uh, in which of which of those people get to see a particular Veek. So I can send a Veek to uh, me at Veeker.com from my phone and only I will be able to see it. I can send it to all at Veeker.com and all of my connections will be able to see it. I can send it to um, you know person A at Vicar.com and only that person will be able to see it. We can create groups and put you know five people in a group and send it to group name at Vicar.com and only people in that group will be able to see it. Cool.